So after the tops of your frames in the brood super are cleaned off and they're nice and flat, all the burr comb's been removed, you can place your brood rearing mat on top. And if it's the one that's for a, a stronger hive, and as you can see, it's one of those ones that has room all around the edge, it's not the one with the cutout. Make sure that you place it equally centralized front and back, and the mat should be large enough to just cover the outside two frames edge, no more. That allows the bees with the strength of them to get all the way around and up to service the top two supers, then your excluder goes on. So the first thing that you've got to do is clean all the tops of your frames in case there's not much space between your excluder and the tops of your frame so that the Winamet or the BRM will uh, be fitted without, without any obstructions. This is, the, this is the black plastic, 2000 vintage. Uh, it can be a problem if there's a bit, of a bit of wind blowing. Otherwise it works the same as the others. So the queen cell's been placed in this particular nuke and now we're putting the uh, BRM on, previously known as the winter mat. For warmth, when the temperature gets under 20 degrees. G'day Beaks. Uh, it's uh, that time of the year again where the temperature or well, the nighttime temperature is down uh, to 18 degrees and time to put your uh, brood rearing mats on. This yard is due for its uh, brood rearing mats so today they're being placed on the honey production hives and the nukes. Here I'm placing uh, a uh, brood rearing mat and a piece of paper over the hole and then I'm going to put the excluder on and on top of that is the is another uh, four frame uh, nuke super which I'm going to take uh, bees and uh, nurse bees and brood out of some of the other hives so that we'll build this particular hive up for winter. This is uh, some of the brood room mats that uh, are uh, ready to be put on and uh, I'll be putting them on all the nukes and all the honey production hives in the next week or so. This particular nuke I'll be able to uh, take some uh, root out of it and uh, put it uh, into the other hive. Just looking for the queen. That's a good frame of brood. Can't find the queen, but I've got to find the queen because I want to put some nurse bees in there with them. Another good frame of brood. There's the queen, you can just see her white uh, marking right down the bottom of the entrance of the hive. Taking a frame of brood out and uh, putting the sticky in. All frames squeezed together. Brood mat being placed on. 
I like to keep a single brood super with an excluder so that all brood rearing is compact in one particular unit. The uh, top honey super has just now been put on, so it, it's ready for the winter. This is the frame of brood and bees that I'm going to place in the uh, other uh, empty super over in another nuke. Here comes the other frame of uh, brood and bees, mostly nurse bees, and they'll be put in. I'll do the same, uh, put another three frames of uh, bees and brood in and uh, one frame of honey for their food. Another frame. That's, that's two frames of bees. I'll put a, a, a frame of honey and a, found, and a, a drawn sticky in to complete the four. These are all nurse bees that I'm uh, putting in this snook to boost it up. This is a frame part frame of honey. Another part frame of honey. The majority of bees in this top super are nurse bees with a few field bees added in and that is why I placed the piece of paper underneath the brood rearing mat. Put the winter mat on, I'll put an extra uh, mat on top just so it keeps that warmth in until they chew through the newspaper. The lid come base or base come lid is now being fitted. Please like, subscribe and click the bell to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching.